There it is. That's Leadville. And here I am on 6th Street. And the last time I was on this street, exactly one year ago, <laughs> I was suffering big time. This is excruciating. <laughs> it's taking every ounce of energy to move my body forward. <sighs> Getting myself to the finish line of last year's Leadville 100 was one of the most difficult challenges of my life. Right down there. Whew, I don't know if I'll be back. Right now in this moment, I'm like, I am never running a 100 miler again. <laughs> oh, God. And about a week after last year's race, I thought, you know what, I can do better. And that's really why I'm here. I think I can do better. And so this year I've trained a whole lot more. I've gotten my legs ready. I've done some races, I've done some running. My legs are feeling good. Last year I think I rode my bike too much. And here's a pro tip. Biking does not get you ready for 100 mile ultra marathons. And I'm grateful that I'm back here with my amazing crew, Dana and Xantha. And oh yeah, do you remember that woman who paced me named Amelia Boone and I didn't really know her at the time? Yeah, she's back too. And you know what? <laughs> there she is. Hi. <laughs> and we ran 15 miles together and that was essentially the start of our beautiful, wonderful relationship. And I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling uh, just, just overwhelmed with gratitude. Are you ready to run tomorrow? Because she's pacing me again. I'm ready to run. Let's <laughs> do this. You're going to rock it. We're going to rock it. And the only thing that I don't have control over in this year's race, you can kind of see that the clouds are a little dark. They're calling for a lot of rain tomorrow. And we'll see what happens. All these races are adventures. They're journeys. I love the 100 mile distance because it's a journey. It's a mental and physical journey from highs and lows. I get to see all the different phases of the day from the sunrise to the sunset to weather and rain. You get to feel everything on your skin. And that's pretty special. In our day-to-day -day lives, we don't get to experience that all that often. And so tomorrow I know is gonna be a journey and I'm ready and so excited that you're gonna be there with me. I'm so excited. Let's do it, see you in the morning. Let's do it. <laughs> There's Amelia Boone. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to run? I'm ready. All 100 miles. Riding bikes to the start of the Leadville 100. Here we go. Go Ryan. Here we go. Leadville, Leadville, Leadville. Remember, you're better than you think you are. You can do more than you think you can. So dig deep, and if you need one word to keep you going, remember Leadville. Leadville tough. That's all you need. Here we go, here we go! Yeah Hi Claire! How are you? How you doing my girl? This is the only time we're gonna be able to run with you. Have a great race. So I'm running here now with my buddy Don. Hey, what's up? Used to live in Boulder. Don's an amazing human and he's gonna be way up there today. How you feeling, bud? Dude, I feel awesome. It's gonna be a special day. No matter what happens, we're gonna smile, have a good time, cheer, thank everybody, appreciate what we're able to do, and uh, just enjoy every minute of it. Exactly, man. So much gratitude for this race. Go get him, Don! All right. I'm coming up on May Queen. The sun is kind of coming up. I can see a little bit of light in the sky. I'm feeling surprisingly tired already. <laughs> so that's not good, but these races are long. There's a, a lot more, so I'm not too worried yet. But, oh, yeah, just keep moving forward. That's all I can do. All right, I'll give, you a, I'll give you a little assortment. Give me a little like Halloween special, you, you know? You got it. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate pleasure. it. Have a good All one. Right. Bye. Bye. Hi, ladies. I love you. We love, love you. you. Thanks for being here. Go. All right. Go, go, go. I'm going to go that way. All right. Feeling, feeling better. A boost of seeing people cheering and yelling. Amelia and Dana. That always helps the spirits. My vest just broke, 
So now it's swinging all around. I don't think it can be fixed. At least not right now. Ah. Complete cloud cover right now, which will keep the day cool. Not that it gets all that hot up here, but ah, we'll see. We'll see when the rain starts. These clouds are just begging to let loose. They're pretty dark. <laughs> I remember running down this section last year, just begging for mercy. <laughs> this is when the pain really started kicking in. My quads were shot. Every step felt like I was running on glass. It was not comfortable. So hopefully this year will be a little bit different when I come back through here. But only time will tell. I'm trying my best to kick into gear the gear that I usually have at the beginning of an ultra. And I'm having, having trouble getting there. And this is where my mind starts playing games with me like, oh Ryan, you're toast. You're not gonna make it. You're only 15 miles into this thing. You're not even get up Hope Pass. Oh, and those thoughts are scary. And going down that dark tunnel is dangerous because I think any hard thing, any adventure that I've ever done, I've gotten through it because of my mental strength. Not so much because of my physical strength. And so I'm already seeing myself going into a dark hole, which is not good. So I'm really trying to be conscious and mindful to be like, this is pretty cool, Ryan. Look where you are. Be grateful, just keep moving forward. Your body will get it together. And uh, that's all I can do, you know? to stay somewhat positive out here and talk to people, feed off their energy, appreciate the smell of the rain on the pine needles, <laughs> and keep moving forward and smile. That's a big one, gotta keep smiling. When you set out on an adventure, you never know how it's gonna end up. That's what makes it an adventure. And what happens between A and B is all unknown. And for the most part, it's incredible. Like. Look at this. Woo! Well, that's pretty. That'll lift anyone's spirits, right? Incredible. Keep moving forward. <laughs> that's my motto so far today. Just keep moving forward. I'm trying to stretch out my hamstrings. My left hamstring has been kind of nagging me for the past six months. It hasn't like stopped me in any races, but it hurts. And I usually just run through it, but I'm trying to take care of it early today. Oh my God, Hulk Hogan! Holy moly! It is an honor, my friends, to be <laughs> running with the great Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Tell you what, <laughs> Hulkamania and negativity. <laughs> Two things that just don't go together. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I needed a boost, <laughs> and I got it from Hulk Hogan. Have a good one. You too, brother. Okay, we're going down the very steep power line hill now, and this is where I want to take care of my quads. My quads were the problem area last year. And we're just gonna go down nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> as easy as you can go when gravity is pulling on you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, buddy, oh, can, can I borrow your bike? Can I borrow this? Yeah, See ya! <laughs> Have a good one, guys. The best high is a runner's high. Heck yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Heck yeah. Have a good bye. one. <sighs> All right. They gave me a little, a little gel. Sorry, I can't talk. It's still in my mouth. <laughs> and oh, it's just good to see humans cheering you on. I really feed off of the energy of the crowd. <laughs> I do. Like, I need them. That's why I like these big races where there's 
large numbers of people here and there really helps me. Especially on a day like today where I'm kind of bleh. <laughs> you know, but it's 100 miles. There's a lot of ebbs and flows and ups and downs. And it's just the beginning. Just the beginning. Running down the middle of the road. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful road. My stupid vest is still broken. And these things are swinging all over the place. <laughs> Which will be very annoying by mile 75. Yeah! Yeah, go crazy, go crazy! Woo! <laughs> Cowbell fixes everything. Hi there, hi there. Awesome. I know it's dangerous to row with my eyes closed, <laughs> but it just helps me to breathe deeply. And I don't think I'm gonna crash into anything because I'm on a road. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I don't feel very good. Uh-oh. But that's okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, good to see you. How's it going, Thank you, Amelia. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Woo. Yeah. Woo, what's up? Hey, guys. How are you doing? Are you going to come with me the whole way? Okay, let's go! Thank you, Howard Bone! So this field out here is really tricky. There's like holes and bumps all over the place hidden in grass. And I've tripped a few times out here, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so the high from Outward Bound has worn off. I'm back to... <laughs> Come on, body! Let's get to it! <sighs> I don't know what it is. You know how some days you wake up and you just feel awesome? That's not how I feel today, which is very unusual for me. So we're going to work through this. <sighs> All right, I need some magic. And you know I love sage. Sage, I try to, try to take it on every adventure I go on. <sighs> Protects me, gives me a little strength. I'm gonna put this sage in my vest and hope that it can do some magic. <laughs> oh. Man, I shouldn't be hurting this much. I'm barely into the race. As hard as this is already, as much pain as I'm in, I have to remember that I get to do this. And I need to, I need to really hold on to the gratitude because just being able to be out here running on these trails this sacred land is such a privilege and uh i can't whine too much you know <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> even though it also sucks <laughs> it can be a little bit of everything that's fair all this sage right here is wet from yesterday's rain and it smells so good. <sighs> I'm just running. That's it. One leg in front of the other. <laughs> That's all I have to do today. That's all I have to do today is run. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Let's get some boulder high fives. What's up? I placed fifth in the mile marathon. You got fifth in the mile marathon? Yeah. What's your name? Moe's McAmer. Moe's just got fifth in the mile marathon. The race that started me running at Colin Mine Elementary. Good job, buddy. Thank you all. You're awesome. So last year, I wasn't paying attention to these little pink flags. And I kept going straight that way for about a mile. I do not see anybody near me. I'm looking at the ground, looking for footprints, not seeing many running shoes. So I think I must've missed a turn. So this year, I'm very happy to be taking the right route. For some reason today, every step is a struggle. I feel like, I can't even talk. I feel like I'm in slow motion, but at least I'm in motion, I guess. Water guy, please fill me up. Thank you all for being here, you're awesome. You're wonderful humans. 
Thank you. Oh. My legs hurt. <laughs> they hurt. And uh, this might help them, maybe a little bit. Loosen them up, loosen up my hips. Oh. Good job, man. Thank you, you too. Oh, okay, let's keep going. My new friend Leo from where? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Woo! How's this altitude treating you? Oh, man, it's rough. <laughs> Hard to breathe up here. <laughs> Can't beat the weather though, it's nice. Yep, working our way through the pain cave, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, them hips. Yep. Getting tight. That's right. <laughs> and sometimes it's easier to go through the pain cave with a, with a buddy. Yeah. You know? Definitely. It's a great pick me up. <laughs> yeah, you just talk your way out of it. We start talking about random stuff. Yeah, and you forget about your pain. Mm -hmm. And I'm alone again. I've probably been passed by about 20 people in the past hour, which is a bit demoralizing. I'm like, why do you all feel so awesome? And I feel like poo. <laughs> then I have to remember, it doesn't really matter. I'm out here for my own challenge. And uh, yeah, it's a challenge so far. It's more challenging at a much earlier stage in the race than I expected, but uh, We'll get through it. And another thing that's tough is I really felt like I was in the best running shape of my life coming into today. I'd really prepared well. Felt amazing last month in the 50 miler. And uh, my legs just, just don't want to go. bars my new fave my new favorite snack oh <laughs> it's hard to chew when you're so tired mm. you know people ask me a lot how do you stay positive when you're hurting so much <laughs> when you're so deep in the pain cave and my answer is it's the only option if I allow myself to go into a negative headspace to a dark place that's when, uh, that's when, you know, I give up essentially. That's when I quit. And I've done that, I've been there, but I've been here this moment so many times, I know that just, just keep moving forward. Think about all the good things in life, you know? And, uh, you know, just appreciate the beauty of where I'm at. And that gets me through most anything. That goes for anything in life, you know? Not just ultras. Ugh, don't trip. <laughs> no crashies. And I just have to remember, just keep moving forward, keep moving forward. You have friends waiting for you. You have dear loved ones. Dana, Xantha, Amelia, and a whole bunch of other people. And nothing lasts forever. This pain will be over at some point. And it's always good to have a goal. You know, like, okay, this race is finite. It's not gonna last forever. I'll get to the finish line, no matter, no matter how bad it hurts. This right here, this spot, this Aspen Grove is my favorite part on the course. It is so beautiful. And I can only imagine how beautiful it is in the fall with all the colors. But Aspens have always been my comfort tree. You know, I'm a tree hugger, I'm from Boulder. I love them. Thank you, Aspens. Where is everybody? Hello. Uh, feels like I'm just out here on a Saturday morning run by myself. Rolling into Twin Lakes for a much needed boost. I love this place. Oh, man, I can't believe it. 
What's up, brother? Yo. Hey, 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 how's it going? You can't look this sexy this early. How you doing, bud? Cheers, man. What do you need? Doesn't Amelia look good in purple? Amelia looks great in purple. Look at this. Mmm, mashed titers. All right. All right, just doing some more stretching here. Look at that mobility. As you can see, very flexible legs. Look at that. Woo! Ow! I've been telling him that he needs to start doing that, so look at him go. <laughs> look at me go. Amelia, how's your day? It's fantastic. No, no, put it on camera on you. My day is fantastic. I've been chasing him around on bike. Now I'm here at Twin Lakes. He's going to go up and over Hope Pass. What? And then when he comes back, I'm going to face him. Woohoo! Woo Hope Pass, here we come. You know it. Thank you, awesome volunteers. You're amazing. Yeah. Woo! High five. Or fist yeah. bump. Boom. Music. Yeah, buddy. Hi. Hi, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? Good. Fist bump. How you doing? Good. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is my favorite part of the race. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh. Bam! Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Love you, I love you so much. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Yeah! Thank you, thank you. Okay, now I'm exhausted from cheering. And I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling like maybe I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> I said I wanted to go on a journey. I'm definitely going on a journey. <sighs> and look at this beauty. That's where we're going. Lucky us. Here we go. Time to ice the feet. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Man, that is cold. Coming straight from the snow melt in the mountains. Woo, boy. And now my feet are 40 pounds each. All right. It's time to start climbing up the mighty hope. And I kind of enjoy this part because I get to walk and chill out. Because <laughs> it's steep. There's no running here. Yep, <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus today. I just feel slow in every way, which I guess is all right. I'm still moving forward, but it seems like everybody around me is going faster. <laughs> still a lot of race left though. That's pretty, isn't it? You wanna know what's going through my mind right now? Why are you doing another very hard thing here, Ryan? You knew it was hard last year. It almost broke you. But I do these things because I feel like I'm a more loving, compassionate, understanding, patient person after going through something like this. These adventures crack my heart and soul open and let in all the love. I know that sounds corny and very hippie of me. But it's true. Just being out here in these hills with a bunch of people having the same experience, it's pretty special. I only do this like once a year, a hundred miler. So this is kind of like a holiday, even though it's a very painful one. <sighs> but there's good times too. It's not all pain. I get to think about all the people I love in my head right now. That makes me whoop. <laughs> that makes me happy. Trip. Yeah. Need to be lifting my legs a little higher. All right, we're starting to see some things. We're popping out of the trees, and boy, is it beautiful. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> yes. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Hope 
Nicholas. You love it, your videos. You, love your videos, man. Thank you. You volunteers are the best. Okay. Thank you. Love you. What are you? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Seven. Way to go. How we doing? How we doing? Way to go. Bam. Great job. I'm just gonna sit here by this fire, eat some soup, chill out, and enjoy the view. Woo! Now we go up just a little bit higher, that way. Just that way. We're getting there. Here's the leader of the race. Good job, buddy. Way to go. Looking good. Yeah, incredible. Increíble. That means he's already gone up and over all the way to Winfield and back over. I don't think I'm going to catch him. <laughs> Thank you for the cowbells. You're awesome! Okay, a few more steps and I'll be at the top of Hope Pass, which is great news. The bad news is I'll have to go back up and over to the other side. And that side's way harder. <laughs> Here we go, look at this. Woo! Yeah! Oh, looks like there's some serious weather. Right over there. And now I guess I have to run. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> You'd think running downhill would be easy, but it is definitely not. So the rain is here. I don't know how hard it's gonna rain, but it is on its way. And it looks kind of fierce. We'll see. It sure is beautiful and lush in here. It's been a very rainy summer up here in the high country, and that's good. We've been very lucky not to have any forest fires. Way to go, way to go, looking good. Man. Keep it up. Sure. There she is, oh, Claire Gallagher. Yes. How you doing? Oh, so good to yes. see you. Yes. Keep on kicking butt. You got this, Claire. Gotta cheer on my boulder people, right? Now that's the view right there. And it's important to remember to look at all the beauty around me today and not just stare at my feet because <laughs> that's something I tend to do when I'm hurting, you know? You just look down or look forward, but man, there's, there's a lot of nature's best all around here. Pretty awesome. And blue sky, look. Here we are at Winfield, it's sunny. I got some soup, I got some taters. This is the turnaround. And yeah, now we have to go back up Hope Pass. Oh, it's gonna hurt, but oh well. My oh, man, how you doing, brother? So good. good to see you, good to good see, to see you. you. Oh, you're how looking you doing? great. You're looking great, man, you're looking great. How are you? Well, I'm doing all right. Awesome. I'm kind of feeling it, how about you? I mean, has to be expected. Yeah. Staying positive, feeling good. Yeah. Ready to go after it again, man. Yeah, hell yeah, brother. Go Heck get some yeah. food and we'll see ya. Heck yeah. Cheers, man. Way to go, way to go. Way to go. Woo, here we go. Back out into the wilds. <sighs> man. Ole, 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 ole. You got this. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks for being here. You're awesome. See you back in Leadville. See you in Leadville. See you in Leadville. Just have to go up and over that first. Ah, I am slowly trudging up this hill. It's taken all of me to get up here, which is, I guess, the point of Leadville. It's supposed to be hard, huh? 
How you guys doing? It was easy if you called your mom. That's right. Uh, man. But it's fun to see everybody because they're coming down. How we all doing? How's it going? Good to see you guys. One foot in front of the other. One foot in front of the other. Looking good, looking good. Keep it up. Nice job, nice job. Woo -wee. We're getting there, we're getting there. Little by little. Uh, and the view is still stunning, as you can see. Whoa. I love Colorado. I love you, Colorado. Nice job, buddy. You too. <laughs> I love how encouraging everybody is. Everybody pass. Good work, good work. Good Everybody's cheering each other on. That's what I love about this sport. Woo! Good job, everybody. Way to go. I think I can. I think I can. A little engine time. I think I can. Oh. We did it! <laughs> Good job, everybody. Way to go, way to go. Yeah, man. Good job, good job, way to go. My legs are like, what? What, we just went up super steep and now we're going down super steep? Oh boy, here we go. I'm putting the camera away. I'll see you in Twin Lakes. Here we go, I need this energy, I need it. How you doing? Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo -hoo. Thank you, thank you. Hey! It's Amelia! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, how we doing? Yeah, what's up, brother? Awesome! Thank you, thank you! Oh, this feels so good! I love you all! Yeah! Woo! -wee. Yeah! I can get all the way! All the way in! All the way! Yeah! How we doing? Yeah! I love you all! Yo, yeah! Yo, yo, yo! It's John! It's Molly! Woo. It's Dana! Oh, how are you? Good to see you, Dana. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, okay. I got you. Oh, okay. Look! Burritos! I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Sorry, I'm a little stanky. Dana, I love you. I love you too, Ryan. Xantha, I love you. Molly, I love you. John, I love you. Amelia, I love you. Aid Station guy, I love you. Matt! 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 Okay. Woo! I think it's almost time to go. I should get up. <laughs> Help me up. Okay. God, it feels so good to have you all here. I love you. I love you. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, here we go. This is a really powerful moment. It was a year ago I met her. Sorry for the tears. <laughs> Woo. So this is my pacer, Amelia Boone. How you doing? I am fantastic. I can't thank you enough for, for doing this. Uh, I can't thank you enough for letting me accompany you. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Oh, this is too hard. <laughs> We're going uphill. <laughs> uh, seriously though, this is incredible. It's amazing. Oh, I feel so good. So Amelia, how has your day been? It's been fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, just hanging out. I mean, I love crewing and pacing ultras because you get to run a little bit, you get to hang out with people, you get to cheer a bunch of people on. I've been dreaming of this moment for a while. And here we are. Yeah. And earlier today when I was deep in the pain cave, I was like, I hope I make it this far. <laughs> I knew you would. So this is a very exciting moment for me. 
We have Harvey Lewis. Hey. And we have Maggie Guterell. Guterell, yeah. Guterell. It's so great to meet you guys. Hey, you too. This is a big deal. Thank you the so other much. Ryan. How you feeling? Woo, that whole pass. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I think going from 500 to 10,000. 10, yeah. You live yeah. on the East Coast, right? Uh, Ohio. Ohio, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it was a little bit of a nice punishment. Yeah, oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. Well, right. it's fun to meet it's a, a couple of legends. It really is. Can I send a message to my Ryan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan, get off your ass and go ride your bike. <laughs> that goes for all Ryans. You're going too fast. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> it's nice to be smiling after this morning's fiasco. Uh, and you know, I might hit the pain cave deep here another 10 miles, but right now I'm feeling good because I'm with my girl. Woo! Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Here we are running through the aspen trees. How's it going, Amelia? It's fantastic. Yay. I have been so excited for this. <laughs> Me too. I love you. I love you. Woo. Time for some honest talk now. I'm starting to feel exactly how I felt last year at this very point. But my body's like, ooh, buddy, we're breaking down. And I am full of a lot of fear about it because those final 25 miles were so uncomfortable, so painful. <laughs> And I just don't want to go there again. So I'm just trying to stay in the game, you know, keep moving, eating. But uh, very aware that I have a long way to go. But <laughs> I have Amelia. Yeah. I got the MVP. Yeah. Oh, actually, I haven't told you this yet. I have a special guest pacer coming in for the end. Coach Amelia, what do I do? I'm freaking out. No need to freak out. Look, like it's very natural that at this time this Let's year- Let's slow it down. Yeah. At this time last year, you're starting to feel how you're feeling now and your brain immediately goes to, oh crap, history's gonna repeat itself. But what you need to remind yourself, you're much better trained this year. You've been putting in the miles. And just because that's how it happened last year, doesn't mean the story's gonna be the same. Look, that goes for anything in life. Yeah. Like when you come into a situation that you're sure is gonna be a repeat, it doesn't have to be. So the key is getting your mind out of it. Yeah, this whole day has been a mind game. Hi. Yay, Hi. how you doing? Good to see you! Soup time. Mm. All right, oh, man. I need this, I need this. Ugh. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> man, I don't feel so good. My knee hurts. It's a new pain. Welcome to the day of difficulties. But man, it's beautiful. I'm with my Amelia. I mean, ultras are a lesson in, or like, a just, constant trying to triage everything that's just what they are yeah. everything is going to go wrong and it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when yeah and things are going to change like what goes wrong and you just kind of like got to write it out you work through this you know just highs and lows highs and lows highs and lows baby highs and lows highs and lows okay we're coming into Outward Bound. Yeah. We're getting a little sprinkle, which actually right now feels nice. Hopefully it doesn't get too much rowdier. <sighs> and I took some Advil, my knee is feeling better. So we'll see how this final stretch goes. This is the moment of truth. This is where it all fell apart last year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Yay! How you doing? Hi, Hi Jenny. Hi. Hi, Scott. You ready to rock or what? I'm ready to rock, buddy. Oh, Let's okay. rock. You made it. Woo, yeah. made it, made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. Uh, all right. I love you. I love I you. Love you. you. Wow, thank I love you. you. All right, it's time to finish this. It's time to finish it. It's time to finish this. Woo. Woo. Thank you. Woo. So Scott, you've done this race before. What's uh? What's our game plan? Game plan is called run till you can't run anymore. <laughs> Walk until you need to crawl and just keep. Keep moving. You're it. moving well. Look at that. Look I'm at those legs. Yeah, Look at those right. legs. Look at those legs. I'm doing all right, man. Look at those legs. Look at your legs. <sighs> Sexy Scott legs. Yeah. Let's go have some fun, man. Yeah, we're uh, and that's the main thing too. Having fun. All right, we're going up power line right now, which is just so fun. Love mountain cruiser. <laughs> Ooh, it is oh, steep. Man. It is steep, but we're cruising. So I'm starting to feel nauseous, which is uh, what happens at the end of ultras. And Scott's got me doing some breathing exercises. Scott's been here before, he knows what's up. How many times have you puked on power line? You puke running, dozer. Puke while you run? Yeah. <laughs> Scott yeah, says Scott. he can also pee while he runs. Yeah, you gotta be able to do all the berry samples <laughs> while running. <sighs> Scott's really good at making animal sounds. Let's hear one of your birds. Oh, Dozer, I want to hear some animal sounds out of you going up this I time. could do a velociraptor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Space oh, look at that. Nice fucking work. <laughs> Scott's out pooping in the woods and uh, I'm just cruising down the Colorado Trail here and I'm feeling good. I really am like, man, what a roller coaster this day has been. Uh, my knee still hurts a bit, but it's under control. It seems I took some Advil back there with Amelia. And uh, yeah, I am so motivated just to get this race done. You know, I had so much fear around this final section. For good reason, last, last year hurt bad, but man, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Still probably 15 miles to go, but I'm smiling. Ole! I can hear Amelia. Of course I'm singing with you. How's it going? Dude, you're crushing. Yeah, I feel How better. Can you get some veggie broth? Veggie broth. Veggie broth. How are we all doing? Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. Hi, Amelia. Hi. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Susie. You're thank very you. welcome, Ryan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. yeah. I will see you at the finish. How many okay? more miles? Less than 12. Less than 12. Okay, let's do this. All right. Woo. Here we go, here we go. Woo. 11 miles to go. Breathe in, breathe out. Rocks. Rocks. I'm right on the edge of comfort and throwing up all over the place. <laughs> I want it! I don't hear you! I want to go fast! 
or at least somewhat fast. You run these uphills, perfect pace. Yep, just spinning on granny gear. Chug, chug, chug. Great. Feeling great. Yeah. Who's that on the bike? I know. It's Amelia. Hey. What? We got a party now. We've got John over here. We've got Scott and Amelia. I love you guys. Let's get this thing done so we can go to bed, Okay, yeah, good thing. Good, good thinking, good thinking. Let's do a thing. Oh boy. Oh, that hurts. Oh, it hurts. We're cruising. I'm trying my hardest. Ah. Oh, yeah. Just the slightest uphill burns. Oh my god. Oh my god. Out of your Final head. straight away. Dude. Woo. You're rocking. Hit it. Let's go. Oh, this Look is at hard, this. Scott. If it wasn't hard, you wouldn't be out here. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be out here. If it was easy. Wouldn't be out here helping you. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Woo. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Let's go. Bring this home. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Try to get you there! Come on, Leo. Come on, bud. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. Thank you. Oh, you made it. Thank you so much. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey. Raven and Everly. How are you guys doing? Oh, thank you so much. Brother, that was proud amazing. of you. Now. That was amazing. Oh. Oh, that was amazing. Look at that time. All right. Look at that time. Oh, man. What a journey today has been. Whoo, I love you, Leadville. Yeah. Oh, man, what a day. Oh, man, what a day. Oh, I'm so grateful. So grateful. Thank you, Amelia. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so glad I finished it strong. Dana. Proud of you. Oh, you guys are so amazing. So proud of you. Raven. Yay, yeah, Jenny. Oh. Thank you. That was amazing. Oh. So it's been about a month since Leadville, and all the memories are still incredibly vivid. It's like I just finished the race yesterday. This is really sticking with me. And I think that's because of all the people I met along the way. I met so many wonderful humans all throughout the experience. And I will never forget getting choked up when Amelia met me at mile 60. It brought back so many emotions. And then running through the night with Scott and whooping and hollering and making animal sounds, but still being very focused on my goal. And I'm definitely proud of what I accomplished. I came into this race with really high hopes. I trained a lot in hopes of running quite a bit faster than last year. And for most of the day, it didn't look like I was gonna be able to pull that off. But towards the end, I don't know exactly what happened, but I got really focused, laser focused, and I was charging. I did not want to have a repeat of the previous year. And getting to that finish line, sprinting across that finish line felt so good. So thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me that you enjoy my content. If you'd like to support my channel on Patreon, I will have a link down below. You get early access videos and videos with no ads, but again, no pressure on that. 
just watch my videos and share them with your friends. That would mean so much to me. So my friends, I know this was a long one. Thanks for sticking with me the whole time. <laughs> and oh, there's another thing. I don't think I've run my best race at Leadville. I still think I can go quite a bit faster. And so maybe you'll see me again on the start line at Leadville. I hope you're all doing great. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and I will see you down the road. And remember, get off your couch and get out there.